Now let's have some examples. Here we have a file that has uh, some data and we want to work on that. First we import the pandas. Then we read the Excel file that we have and then uh, let's see the data that we have. So let's run this data, this uh, pandas to read the file. So it's taking a little time. So it's done with the reading. Let's see the 10 rows, the first 10 rows of this model, the data that we have. So we have X and we have the Y. Then uh, let's plot this uh, using the scatter plot and see the result. And you can see there is a almost pretty linear linear relation between the x and y. So this is the x. This is the y value that we have. Now let's do the analysis. Let's find the linear linear regression model for this function so we import stat models dot formula as a dot api as a smf now we define the y as a data frame y so you can see the column y is the dependent variable the column x is the independent variable data frame x and data frame y are the independent and dependent variables and then we have the result i call this result equal to smf.ols close the, open the parentheses y is a relation of the x and the data is a data frame and dot, dot fit so if you run this uh, the python does the linear regression and once it done uh, you can see uh, nothing has been shown the already the model is run and you have everything but you can see there is nothing sh showed up for the result of this one. So to see the result, you need to run result.summary. So this is going to show the result of this model. And you can see there is a table here. Uh, so it says OLS regression result. And you can see there is a dependent variables. That means Y is a dependent. And uh, the time. And so those are the... Uh, degree of the residuals uh, the so the number of observation is 10 so we have 10 observation the degree is, degree of the residual is 8 degree of the model is df stands for degree of freedom and uh, it has an 8 so these are the information that you can uh, investigate um, two more important values that we have is R squared versus adjust R squared. So basically, R squared is a parameter that says how well your model is working. The value of the this R squared, the closer to one is better. So the higher is the better. But R squared, you can see that the value of the R squared and adjusted R squared are close to each other. The most important. Uh, they are almost similar, but our adjusted R squared is the better measure to evaluate the performance of each model. The higher is the better is. So for the adjusted R squared, the value is between uh, zero and one. The, the higher the value is, the better one, the closer to one. So if you want to evaluate which parameter should be inside of the model, you have to run one for example if your data set has a three independent variables you have to first run for each of the independent variables and find the adjusted r score select the one start by the one that has higher adjusted r score and then add other independent variables to it so if adding the new independent variables to the model increase this value that's a better that's a good thing otherwise you can completely ignore that one and then so when you have multiple independent variables that's the correct way but uh, in this course we just uh, show how to run the model and now this is a summary so you got the result 
in the first section now the second more important part of the data is coefficient so the coefficient has a one intercept so this represents the b0 this represents the coefficient of the x so this is b1 so you can see the intercept is 36.3 and uh, the coefficient of the x is 5.5 and there is a standard error and uh, p-value so the p-value for this one it has a very important meaning here you can see the p greater than absolute value of the t is similar to this column you can see here there is a minus number and positive number so here there is a chance that this value could be zero the b is zero so this could be as possible but you can see this is zero that means this value or also the upper and lower bounds of these values is positive so this means this number zero 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 means that there is no chance that this coefficient be a zero that means x is absolutely needed but we can get rid of the x intercept there is a chance to be a zero so once you have the coefficient you can uh, get any basically you predict for any x that you are you have what's the value for that x so let's say if x is 30 you can predict what you get for for uh, y also if you have 100 which is outside of the range that you have you can predict what's the value for y so that's the power of, power of the linear regression you have an equation you just put the numbers in the equation and you get the output so there is whole bunch of the stuff in the regression model if you want to get the attributes of this linear regression for example I just want to know the R squared so uh, the attribute associated with that one is a result the name of the model that you put dot R squared so if I here you can see the R squared is 0.969 so if you click on this and run it you can see it, it gives the detail and then uh, here you can see there is a if you want to get the adjusted r squared you can just type adg so that means r squared adjusted and uh, you can get the value so here we have r squared uh, underscore adg so r underscore adg you can get the result for this one so you can get all of this information here you can see a whole bunch of the stuff that you can get you can get the residual p-values the params the parameters or coefficient so the p-values are very important in the statistics the values that uh, most of the time they should be less than 0 0.01 or 0 0.05 that if they are less than 0 0.05 one for example the the model is valid now the most important part is coefficient so how we can get the coefficient in the model we can try the result dot params so if you get this one you can see that uh, the intercept is this one and this one now let's now investigate the type of this one what type is this data so when we type this uh, we get that's the series so in a, if you want to get the access to this one you can uh, use uh, how we get the series so we can open the uh, close bracket and put the in zero uh, ops uh, the s is missing so we put and then you can get the this intercept so if i put the one here we can get the so uh, now I want to do the prediction let's say uh, uh, for the x equal to six, 60 I want to get the value for the y so the model is a result the intercept plus the, cofi, uh, the coefficient of x multiple, multiplied by the value of the x that we have so if from this model we have to 
we will get the result for the y. So you, I got 36, 369.3 and if we compare to the value of the original value that we had, so let's compare it to the df head uh, 10, so we, and for the 60 that we had, we, the observation is 382, but we got 369. Now let's uh, try for other value. Now let's do the x equal to 100, which is uh, outside of the range. And you can see we got 591. So this is a, a prediction that we have for 100.